Let's have a closer look to the conduction process. We will see the molecular motion about conduction. So in solid, the molecules are closely packed, and they are vibrating with the free move. So when we heat it from one end, the molecule will gain kinetic energy and vibrate more violently, so that it will collide with the adjacent molecules, and the heat energy can then be transferred in this way. So from one molecule to another molecule, so you can see in the diagram, the heat is transferred from one colliding with the other one, and the transfer the energy. And for the conduction of metal, we know that metal is a very good conductor of heat because it has three mobile electrons. When it is heated, those three electrons will gain kinetic energy and will move with a high speed and collide it with other positive ions. So the heat is mainly conducted by the three electrons in that way. So when we hit it from one side, the electrons will quickly move and carry the energy away. For the liquids, because the molecules inside is loosely packed, so it is more difficult for it to collide with the laboring molecules. So the heat conduction is less effective. For gas, because of the very weak intermolecular force. And the molecules are very far apart, so the collision between particles is even less frequent. So in this case, the heat transfer with conduction is even less effective.